For this one, I want to show you guys how I did the man glitter. That's a qu air quote. It's paint chips. Uh, these came from Dandelion Meadow Designs. I have like five colors from them. I just did one for my husband to kind of figure out the challenges. It's really tough because some of these are so big. It doesn't want to lay down like we uh, have in our favor on glitter. So what I'm going to do is use this little container here. And I'm going to make a little jar that I can crush. I've got all that crumb at the bottom. It's not quite enough and it's kind of a pain to have to filter this out of here. But we're going to do this and just crunch it up. I don't want it to be a literal powder, but these chips are not going to work. So for starters, I'm just gonna use, this is the end of my stick that I use for my epoxy stirring. And I just wanna crunch it like this. I did this by hand on the one that my I made for my husband and it was quite the pain in the tuchus. See how that's already making a difference on that smaller cut. We're just going to continue doing that until it's nice and small. Here's where we are. Pretty good. Just a couple of bigger pieces that we can go ahead and crush up now. If I continue to do it much more, it's going to end up being too much powder. So I'll just crunch up those bigger pieces. And just like with fine glitter mix, those little powdery pieces will help kind of fill in the gaps. But overall, this is what we need. No bigger than your typical large hex cut. Got some epoxy mixed up there. Got my pen primed and ready, just black spray paint. I'm gonna put a decently thick layer on here. I don't want, I don't want it like falling off, but I want it thicker than what you would normally apply fine glitter. So nice and thick, and then we will put our paint chips on there. Don't forget to take care of that part right there. I'm not worried if it goes over this hole or over this edge here because I'll just razor blade it after the epoxy that I put on top of it cures. Then I'll um, I'll just razor blade it and it'll, it'll be fine. So we've got this here. And just be generous. I may end up having to crush up a little bit more. I should probably get that off of my finger. I'll probably end up having to crunch up some more of this. No big deal. Since I have black paint chips in it, I'm not going to be super stressed if I have a few spots showing. As long as they don't look like they're bald spots, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna pat down any wild crazy spots. On glitter, I would normally wait a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and pat these down because then I can see if I really do need to go ahead and add a little bit like right there. It's a little too bare. Let's see in this, it's a little trickier with this versus glitter it seems like. I definitely have a spot right there. I like that some of this ended up kind of powdery because it really fills in some of those smaller spaces really nicely. Yeah, pretty perfect. If I hadn't done enough 
where I still needed to add more, I would just scoop this up and put it back in and sprinkle it again just like I normally would. Um, so now to keep this from kind of sprinkling onto any of my other pens I have turning, I'm going to throw a little layer of spray paint. I keep my Aquanet handy. I've been doing that on almost every pen lately. And so far it's been pretty helpful in not keeping, uh, in not allowing the glitter from one pen to contaminate another. So just a light coat, you can kind of see it's wet, but not crazy soaking wet. And I'm gonna throw it on my turner. So I modified this setup here. These are pen grips from Amazon. They held the pencils nicely, but these are really made for a very slightly bigger diameter. So I threw a little electrical tape and I have not felt the need to secure it more. It's been pretty nice working out really well. So that's an idea if you're doing the pen grips. Some people are doing rubber bands around these guys here and then slipping the dowels here. I'm using pencils and it's a blunt edge. So I've just added circumference to mine with tape so that they fit in there nicely. So we'll come back after a few hours and do a top coat on here. Probably one more top coat as well. But um, if it ends up thick enough and I don't have any weird rough spots, it's not necessary. But I have a feeling this is gonna take more than one to get it comfortably smooth. This is one layer. I've got a few spots that are a little on the rougher side. You can kind of see it right there on the edges. I've got ink on me. Uh, my husband's pen blew up on me. And a little bit hanging over the edge there. I do need to do one more layer of epoxy on here uh, to smooth out that final coat. But before I do that, I'm going to just kind of shave it off. I do this a couple of different ways. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just do this just a little bit. I don't want to go crazy because I don't want to dig into my glitter layers. Again, I've done that. It's really frustrating. But I like to do this here at the top curve because that spot does tend to be the hardest to get smooth. This I'm not super worried about. You can go ahead and sand it if you want. You can kind of see a few of those little rougher spots poking up there. But you don't really need to. But I'm going to show you how I clean out the inside here. I don't really have anything here to worry about. But I have a little bit of buildup right there. So here is how I do mine. Be really careful anytime you're working with a blade, obviously. But this is what I do. I try to remember to do this before my final coat, but sometimes I forget. And if you get too aggressive with it, you can pop off some of your glitter there. This is looking pretty good. When in doubt, you can test it this way. Make sure it's going in. But after I get my final coat, I'll just reassemble it. And then I always do a couple of clicks to make sure everything went together like it's supposed to. And that's it. Just another option of what you can do with um, the pens without being all glitter all the time. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you have a comment, go ahead and leave it. Question, I'll do my best to answer it. There's a lot of people that are doing this and know more about it than I do, but I'm really excited. I've done about, I'm probably on my 60th pen, maybe. I've gone through three 22 packs. Of course, I've got a couple of duds that didn't turn out, but your options are wide open. So I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one, and I appreciate you.